December 17, 2015, special call meeting and December 28, 2015, regular meeting. Uh, first of all, let's print the minutes of December 17, 2015. Do I hear a motion to do that? Uh, we'll make a motion to approve the special call meeting December 17th minutes. Anybody have any questions? None in need a second. 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 All in favor, raise your hand. Look care by all. December 28, 2015, regular meeting. Do I hear a motion to approve that? Mm -hmm. I make a motion that we approve the minutes for the uh, special call meeting. Any questions by anybody? Regular meeting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Regular meeting. Regular meeting. Any questions? None. I need a motion. Uh, second. Second. Got a second. All in favor, raise your hand. So carry by all. Old business. We have any old business? Okay, we right on into new business. Monthly fire department report. <coughs> fire. Come up. We had 47 calls for the month of uh, December, 32 in the city, 15 out in the county. We had a number of structural fires for the month of December. Uh, did that once entirely. Uh, called by space heater over on Dura Street. We had a uh, structure fire called by a stove, a uh, minor structure fire called by an electrical shortage, and two structures with an intentional uh, arson. Uh, and one on one on return of call. Uh, brush fire went down quite a bit to one. We had two pieces of farm equipment that burned. Uh, we only had one gas leak, natural gas leak here in town. We, we answered 17 life support calls and eight vehicle accidents. Several electronic alarms, light flight landing, and so forth, just miscellaneous calls. Okay, do I have any questions from anybody? Thank you. Thank you. Next thing on the agenda, monthly police department report. Miss Becky. For the month of December, we patrolled 11,981 miles, used 1,084 gallons of gas, answered 1,361 calls, and worked 15 traffic accidents. <clears throat> With, uh, I know y'all are wearing yourself out running all over town yeah. and checking car windows and cars and this, that, and the other and all. Is there anything we can do to help you? 
and I read the first thing that comes to my mind is if they need overtime. Overtime. That's what I was going to ask. Is there any way that we probably yeah. now? Last night we did have five, so we had two extra ones last night. This day from 12 to 5 this morning. So I am going to have to add some overtime in there to, to maybe we can get it. Um, most of our problems have been in the subdivisions, as you well know. In your neighborhood, I think we had 21. In Greenwood Heights, it's well about 35. And then we had several on the Hawkinsville Highway so far. But we probably are going to have to have a little other time until I can get this straight down. Mm -hmm. Is that something we need to make a motion to approve that to help them? I think mean, it would be good. Yeah. Any, you know, any other thoughts or comments? No, I think, mm -hmm. I think it needs to be done. <clears throat> well, I'd, I'd like to offer a motion to uh, approve overtime to assist the police department and officers on this hugely increased number of crimes and things that are going on right now. So you know, you've got officers that are willing to work. I did. Mm -hmm. I'd like a motion to approve the overtime for you. Any second. Uh, do we have any questions from the audience? I do. Chairman, can I let me come forward or do it from here? Uh, you, can you do it right there? Well, did we talk about this uh, problem without any specification as to what it is 31 what one occurred and uh, it's kind of vehicles vague. where people have broken out windows or either just gone through vehicles is what we've had it's all been mostly in vehicles we did have two different burglaries yesterday but i don't think that they were related because the county had some too that might we might can go back and tie in with yours mr france but all of them has been vehicles that they, they, they've gone through. Most of the time they haven't stolen anything, but if they do see something in the vehicle, they have busted out the windows in three different vehicles in the Jessup Heights area to just get whatever they had, they could see in there. But that's how many we have so far. And also there was an armed robbery uh, that occurred this month in the city with an assault rifle that very, not very much was mentioned. We couldn't get comment from the police department on. That did happen, and I did send you a news release on that. I did. Mm -hmm. uh, we have, we have. I've asked the GDI to help me with that. They, they're working with us on that. But I did send you a news release. On Excellent. That. You did, and and I would also like to take this time to offer any assistance that I could give you, Chief, uh, in getting word out to the public in any way possible, shape, or form. Uh, I think that would be very helpful if you could uh, work with me. I'd be glad to do that for you. Okay. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And I'd also like to ask the newspaper to make the citizens aware that if they see, Becky, let me, let me get it right. Make the, uh, the citizens aware if they see anybody that don't look right, please call 911. Okay. No, we ain't better on that. I got a, I got a motion and a second. I need the, uh, Overtime. Oh, overtime. Yeah, I need a motion and a second for the overtime for the police department. Yeah. Yeah. You got it. Uh, all in favor, raise your hand. Took care of all. Okay. Approve the monthly bill for December 28, 2015 through January 11, 2016. Okay, if you have any questions, uh, come see B. Any questions from the audience? Non, I need a motion to approve the monthly bills for December 28, 2015 through January 11, 2016. Make a motion to approve the bills. I've got a motion. Do I hear a second? Second. All in favor, raise your hand. Look care of all. Okay, number four. We need to reschedule January 25th, 2016 council meeting Barrette Conference in Atlanta. Ms. B. Okay, Ms. Conference is 24th to the 25th. 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th. Yeah. So, we need to reschedule the 20th field. Is there a quarter on the 26th? It is, sir. Is there a quarter on 
I mean, I'm just throwing that out because I don't, I don't know if, you know, if, that's, if we could even do that with that SPLOST account. Or if this got to be in just a plain checking account that... Is it in a... What kind of... It's in an interest bearing account. Is it a checking account? I'd have to look. Um, I don't see why you couldn't have an interest bearing account, but you need to be able to write checks out of it continuously because you have monthly expenses that come out of that account. Yeah. I, and I so reckon that's what my thing is. Can we check? Because according to this letter, we've got to have it out by the, the, the 31st. Can, if I make a motion or something, to give you know, the authority to maybe check with both of the banks and see if they have something like that, what may be the, the best interest, who gives the best interest, and if, like I said, check into if we can write as many unlimited amount of checks or if you're limited to five checks a month or something, or? Sure, you should, you should certainly look into what well, it is, what this one was, look at my checks. Yeah, I mean, you, you have my like checks. And like I said, because this is just plain, checking account so like I said I'm just I'm thinking about because I mean that's nine hundred thirty three thousand dollars so like I said if we made a little, a little bit each month on it because there'll be money still going into it every month as as well as coming out mm -hmm. and then we could actually know and make a decision because if we whew, that'd be cutting it close but if you find that out we may could have a little a call meeting or something and decide and vote to move it. We, I mean, it's going to take what you got to do is call them and say move it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, or we could wait till the next meeting, but they can move it to the 29th. So, what y'all learn about that? Or, and I reckon, I'm just because it's sort of like you got City Citizens Bank, we got Colony Bank, mm -hmm. flip a coin and see who's going, who do we give it to? Because you look at it. Like I said, nine hundred thirty-three thousand dollars. And any more thoughts? You look at the bill. You make a motion. No, I need to rescind my bill. Uh, my... No, no I'm rescind your motion. I need to rescind my motion. Okay. Now, I'll like uh, to offer a motion to give Miss B the go ahead to check with Colony Bank and Citizens Bank and Trust and to see, check into an interest bearing account and get the specifics on each account, check writing number per month and who, would, who has the best interest and get some information and we can make that decision and decide and move it. One of those banks. All right, I'll second the motion. Uh, do I have any questions from anybody? Don, I need a show of hands. All in favor? Take care of all. We need to, number seven, designate a voting teller for GMA special membership meeting Sunday, January 24th of the Mayor's Day Conference. Not nominate, but it's it. Any questions from anybody? All in favor, raise your hand. Ronnie, he knows all, all the way. I have a thing up there on that stuff. That's what he knows. He's already on GMA too, so, I mean, you know, that's a good brainer. <coughs> okay. We approved to advise for bids to remove Devon from James Avenue storage or Ms. B. And let me um, just show you these pictures if I was pushing them to you. This is just um, some pictures of the lot that we need to advertise to take bids on for cleaning that up so we can put some more out there. <laughs> Just about four. Uh, I would say 
so. And that's going to be moved in a hole and they're going to be burning it. Yeah. Holy smoke. No, we we done pretty well. I think I done pretty well. Strike me. Need a motion to approve to advertise for bid to remove Devon James Avenue storage yard. Do I hear a motion? We make that motion to advertise for this to remove the debris. Do I hear a second? Second. Any question from anybody? None. I need a vote. All in favor. <coughs> okay, number nine. Councilman's presentation, Mr. Bobby Sly, would you step forward, please? Mm. <coughs> I didn't come here for that. You got to read, you got to get a note. I came here to get on Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> Did you I get go, on it? I was going to tell Ronnie that I came to make sure he showed up. <laughs> when, she was, when she was swearing him in, I was going to say, I object, but that's a wedding angle. <laughs> <Jeez, laughs> <Bobby. laughs> oh. <laughs> Move up to the front. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my goodness>. oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we I've been glad. Glad to be a part of it. Anybody in the other council like to come down? Before we read this to him? I can read that. No, I'm reading it to you. <laughs> no, I'm reading it to you. I took very careful to make sure you got here. Did you even know this was going to happen? No, I didn't know that was going to happen. I mean, I'll go pick on Ronnie. I'll go ahead. I, 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 I knew what I was, you know. Uh, this is, okay. The City of Eastman, in honor of your service, Bobby Sly, the City Council District Board, January 1st, 2012, December 31st, 2015, thank you for all your exceptional work and paramount dedication throughout the years. The best wishes go with you, City of Eastman. Council and employees. I, I, I like to say a few things if I don't drop a tear or two. But uh, I've been on several councils, like I've said in the past, and we've had a lot of issues with other councils not getting along. Can't, but I, this council right here, I, like Mr. Prince says in his prayers, agrees to disagree. I don't think we've had the first argument, the first anything, and it's been, uh, I guess, two years since we've all been together. But uh, that's going to be a good city council right there. You can bet on it. And uh, I think they'll, they'll do the best for Eastman and whatever for the people. I know they will. And I, I thank you. You guys, all of you, I thank you. And Ron, I sure thank you for taking my place. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Then you come back any time you will. Sure will. Right I'll come back I won't say. Can't hear you. <laughs> 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 right, move right on down to the city manager report. Yeah, I don't. Um, I think we've already covered everything. So um, I've just enjoyed my stay with the city. And uh, I'm going to give you my card. Oh, my card. I'm going to go ahead. I have a card. Uh, thank you, card, from this speech. You want me to read out to all the council? This is Eastman City Council. Thank you very much for a wonderful reception. Thank you for my beautiful gift. It will service as a reminder of my time with the city. It has been a joy and a pleasure to work with the city for the past 48 years and one month. 
<laughs> I had to add that in there. And I, if I can help in any way, feel free to call. What, you all know that? Everybody got your number here? Okay. I'm looking forward to retirement. Thank you again for everything. Thanks again, B. While I'm reading the thank you thing, I might as well go ahead and do this right now. I got you a key to the city. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> see, I can, I can still come back. Even though they're taking my keys, I can still come back. <laughs> okay, other business from the council. Mr. Woodard. Sir. You got anything you would like to say? I do. I just want to thank everybody for giving me this opportunity to be on the, the city can't council. Hear. You can't yeah, hear me? My goodness. All right. We'll have to sit back down then. Uh, I want to thank everyone for supporting me in, in this endeavor. Uh, other than a short period of time when my father was in the military, Eastman's been my home. Uh, it's been my home. It's been my wife's home, my parents' home. Uh, raised two daughters here. And I just see this as an opportunity. I just want to try every way I can to try to give something back to a town uh, that has meant so much to me. Uh, with every new position, there's a learning curve, so please be patient. If I hold my hand up at the wrong time or, or speak out of turn, uh, I try not to do that too often. Uh, but once again, I, I want to appreciate the people, their, their well wishes, their pats on the back. and. Uh, I hope I can make a difference in, in, in this fine city. Thank y'all. Mr. Prince. I don't, I don't have anything. Just want to welcome our new council member. And we look forward to this year and to doing greater and better things for our city. Yeah. I just want to, again, uh, welcome Mr. Woodard as officially the District 4 uh, council person. And then just to say to enjoy that newness, uh, once you get a few miles on you, <laughs> they're going to ride you a little harder. <laughs> and uh, that's all that. Buddy? <clears throat> we'll follow everybody down. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Hang on. It is what it is. <laughs> oh, a, co a couple of things. When, oh, when we go and start, I read move water lines on some other streets and all. Can we possibly, or we really need to, is let the people on those streets know because Seventh Avenue back here, boy, they have tore me up. Folks come home that evening, the mailbox laid in the yard, the driveways cut, and nobody knew about it. And I, I know some have been down here and told you up and everything. Now, can we let people know in advance that? That that's going to happen because like I, said, I think most of them would have just said, you know, but if, if, we, if I'd have known it, then you know, we come barreling in to pull in the driveway at night and it's cut and a big ditch in it, and you go check the mail and the mailbox laying out and foot in the ground. And so, if we just let them know a little in advance, and, I mean, we had to print something out if they're not home here, put it at their house or something to alleviate those those issues. And also, I have been selected to the GMA's Legislative Policy Council. So we are, we had a webinar Friday, we had a, a conference call this morning in preparation for the legislative session that started. And I don't know how many times we'll have to go to Atlanta in the next it's supposed to be 40 days, but I swear they've turned it into 90 or 100. But the conference call, the purpose of the LPC is, in my case, is to bring back uh, legislative issues and problems that may, uh, local municipalities, cities will be facing. And today, already out of the chute, some of the uh, items I'm just going to quickly go down with ethics, the old the fines in the old system. They're still trying to get that worked out. The uh, nice fireworks legislation that was passed last year that yes. you can shoot them and pop them all night long, and local governments can't say anything about it. They're going to be blasting that hard uh, with the excise, the gas tax, and all the 
truckers and the trucking industry is are pushing to try to get uh, heavier weight limits on their loads and all and it's like with the truck ovens and stuff you know they're tearing up city streets and all as they are so we'll be fighting that that issue and you know instead of getting them heavier uh, body cameras police departments and all use the cost of storage because legislature legislature came up that they've got to store that information for so many so long and the cost of that's astronomical so they're going to be working we'll be working with legislature to uh, try and get something else worked out about that even shorten the length of time for storage or, or find another way where it's not going to cost all the cities tons of money taxes of course uh, annexation and de-annexation uh, had an incident I think with Pierce County down that neck of the woods the legislature went down there and uh, de-annexed a bunch of property from one county and gave it to the other and, and nobody down there even knew about it so they're going to be we'll be looking into working with the legislature about cities and counties need to know if you're sitting up there in Atlanta trying to take away a bunch of property and all of course the religious freedom restoration act and home rule authority and that's just to mention a few uh, as of 8 30 this morning so it's, uh, it's an honor to be nominated put on that call gma committee and all and i'll keep counsel and all informed on everything's going on going ons and going offs and what the battles are and i think that's it okay well i have been elected to the council board at the ydc does that count <laughs> <laughs> but i think they said there was a nurse manager down there needs to straighten it out <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they have turmoil right now. <laughs> but uh, I am proud of Ronnie Woodard. Uh, I've been knowing Ronnie since the 80s when I went to work with him. He went to work with me, let me rephrase that. And I was his boss man down at the RYDC, and then he went off and got caught and become my boss man again. Then I went to the YDC, and he come over there again with my boss man again. And now you might say, I'm your boss man again. Okay. <laughs> But we do thank you, and uh, I know you're going to do a good job because I've been knowing you a lot of years, and I know what you're capable of. Appreciate it, Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. I'd like to say one other thing. All right, so stand up and come uh, up and give us your name. No, not like to come up. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to tell you that uh, it's been a while before I'll be back because every time you tell them to raise your hands, I wrote my raise my hand. <laughs> so I got to get out of that before I come back. But thank you for doing this for me tonight. All right, we love you, Bobby. Okay, other business from council, we got that taken care of. All in participation. Anybody in the audience like to come up and speak? Who is that? Uh, come on, give us your name, rank, and serial number. I can do that. First general order as well. Charles Williams, the Development Authority. Uh, again, I echo everybody else. Welcome, Ronnie. Glad to have you here. Uh, I wanted to give you a brief <laughs> update on Georgia Military College. Their trustees are meeting as we speak. It started at uh, 5.30 this afternoon and we'll end at 7 o'clock tonight. I'll hear where we are. I feel very comfortable comfortable about it and very positive about it. I wish I could tell you tonight so we could move forward, but I do have the lease in hand and I will be back with you very shortly, certainly by the next meeting and probably in the morning. I'll text most of you so that you understand what's going on there. But you would ask me about it, Milton, is where are we on this so. We've been waiting on the trustee group to meet, and that's occurring this evening. And secondly, um, if we could follow in the example of the county and put uh, department heads at the beginning of old business, you've been going to do that for three months, so it's a good idea to, uh, to look at it. Is there maybe a reason that you don't want to do it? No, I just don't think about it. <coughs> you need to remind me when you come in here, then we can. Will you put, i tell you what. <laughs> Where's, where's our new chairman? Didn't you hear tonight? I mean, uh, I think that's you, got it. No, the, uh, the uh, our new city manager. Ah, yes, he's in. Will you please put that on the agenda? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a roll. <laughs> I 
I would like to say I would like for our new city manager to step up here if he would. I still get to speak. Thank you very much. Charles, he just cut you off. He did. I'm I'm sorry, sorry. I appreciate that. You started it. I it's true. You started it. You started it. Now you don't like say you had to, well, to say. This is the line of the book. Right. This, is our, uh, this is our going to be our new city manager. And uh, that's the first thing I'm going to do, put that on the agenda for that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Welcome. Welcome. Would you like to say something? Um, well, I, I came to sit in the back row, so I wouldn't have to do this tonight. Uh, but I'm trying to watch Miss B as closely as I can to make sure I'm following those footsteps. No, um, I, I definitely would like to, um, to thank the council for the opportunity to work here in, in my hometown. It's a blessing. A lot of people don't get that opportunity to stay home. And, um, you know, be able to work. I'm very passionate about this city. It is where I live, so um, I'm really excited about the opportunity. I'm going to echo uh, Mr. Bobby's words about you know the council group. You know, so far it's with my current position at the regional commission. I've worked with just about every one of you, except for Mr. Woodard. But I look forward to that and um, exciting things coming up. I agree. And we'll see you the 15th. You will. All right. Anybody else? like to come up and speak. Right. I need a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Do I hear a second? A second. Now, hold, it, hold it, Mr. Friend. Ronnie, would you? Second. <laughs> all in favor, raise your hand. Look, everybody, all. <laughs>